Hey, it's Steve. In this video, we're going to take a look at a planisphere, what it is and how you use it and how this can be a nice tool to help you learn the night sky and find objects that you can see with a pair of binoculars or a small telescope. So today we have plenty of applications you can use on your phone or tablet that will help you navigate the night sky and find objects. Uh, things like Sky Safari, which I like to use a lot myself, but I think there's still a place for a planisphere for helping people to learn the night sky. I still like using one of these, and this is a really nice tool to quickly uh, help you find objects in the night sky, especially if you're in a suburban area. One nice thing is that while they do show stars and deep sky objects, they're pretty much limited to brighter ones, and so this kind of helps you if you're in a suburban area with some you know moderate light pollution. Uh, what you see on here is pretty much what you're able to see you know easily from a location like that this particular planisphere is about 16 inches across uh, made out of plastic and so it is uh, pretty durable in terms of if it gets wet you're not going to have any damage to it and that kind of thing it has information on the back and the front obviously has the uh, projection of a night sky and allows you to set it for the particular day and time that you're interested in and thus allow you to find what's visible in the night sky at that time. These are very easy to use. Uh, basically, all you have to do is turn this one dial here that has the current time and, and have that match up with your current day or any day that you're looking forward to in the future. Currently, it's May 10th as I'm recording this video. And so if I want to see what will be visible in the night sky, say at 11 p.m. on May 10th, I put the 11 p.m. right there between the 9 and the 11 for the month of May. And this gives me a view of the night sky, in this case facing south, uh, what everything will look like if I were to hold this up and compare it to the night sky, I would see pretty much what I see here. Uh, the larger dots indicate brighter stars, the smaller dots are fainter stars. It gives you also the locations of many deep sky objects that are visible you know, from your location at that time. Everything from nebula, such as the Lagoon Nebula, to uh, various star clusters here denoted by this star shape, um, globular clusters as well with this circle and this plus uh, sign there. And you can also find many galaxies that are visible that are larger and brighter and those are denoted by little ovals, such as M81 and M82 up here. So you can use this to basically hold up, compare to the night sky, see where those objects are that you're looking for and what bright stars they're near, and that can help you to find these. This is very useful when you have a pair of binoculars, for example, where you have a large field of view. You can compare what you see in the binoculars to what you see here in a given area on the planisphere and really help kind of figure out where different things are at. One thing you can also do, since this is plastic, you can use this to kind of make your observing list for a given evening. So you can take a dry erase marker, circle objects you want to uh, view that evening, and then just cross them off as you view them and kind of use that as a sort of a rudimentary you know, observing list. And then you can just clean it off after you're all done, since it is plastic. So just an alternative to your phone or tablet for finding objects in the night sky. I'll have a link below in the description to where I bought this one, but you can find these from a lot of different stores, different sizes. Uh, one thing to keep in mind though, if you do get a, get a planisphere, is to make sure it is for your latitude range. This one is for latitudes 30 to 60 north. They make different ones for different latitude ranges. So if you're at lower latitudes, you have to make sure you get one for your latitude range. Otherwise, this will not be an appropriate view of the night sky for your location. But if you know somebody that's starting out in astronomy, maybe they want a pair of binoculars or a small telescope, go ahead and pick them up one of these simple planispheres. They're not that expensive. Uh, they range from like $15 to $25, even cheaper if they're cardboard ones. But this can be a nice companion to a pair of binoculars to go outside, learn the night sky, learn where objects are, and you don't have to worry about your, your uh, tablet app to find different objects. So overall, a nice simple way to help learn where things are at in the night sky. Anyway, that's all for now and thanks for watching. Bye.